Now to a story we first brought you on Monday, a bill that could jeopardize Jacksonville's tourism industry. It's heading to the House floor next week. Governor Scott meeting with local business leaders to talk about the escalating issue and how thousands of jobs are at stake. Our Shelby Danielson is live with the latest from Orange Park tonight. Shelby. Well, Anthony, the governor drove home the message of tourism and how it's the backbone of our state. He says it's the main reason we don't have a state income tax and it makes up 25% of our sales tax. Now, last year we had record breaking tourism numbers and that's one of the reasons uh, St. Augustine and other cities who were hit by Hurricane Matthew were able to get back on their feet. The marketing agency for the state, Visit Florida, actually promoted cities like St. Augustine after the hurricane to help with that very issue. But but it's agencies like Visit Florida and their sister agency, Enterprise Florida, that are now at stake uh, because of that bill going to the House floor next week. Enterprise Florida would be completely uh, eliminated, and then the funding for Visit Florida would be cut. About two-thirds of it would be taken away. Now, the governor met with those small business owners today because many of their jobs rely on tourism dollars, and he says they need to start calling their local representatives, asking them how they're going to vote on this issue and explain how it impacts our lives. Because he says, a, a contrary to what he wants, many of them are going to vote yes on this bill. Now we have politicians in Tallahassee that said, you know what, we're not going to market our state anymore. There's a group of them that already voted. One group voted to completely eliminate marketing. The other one voted that they would cut two-thirds of it. So Paul Renner, who represents district just a little bit south of here, said he sponsored a bill completely eliminating both Visit Florida and Enterprise Florida. Travis Cummings, who represents a lot of you, he voted to cut, uh, basically cut out Enterprise Florida and also to cut the marketing in the state by two thirds. Now, if you take a look at these statistics on your screen, we showed you this earlier in the week. I just want you to see that since 2011, when Visit Florida was given more money, tourism has increased in that same amount of time. But if this bill passes, then the money they had before that time, a much lower amount, that's what they would be going back to. So big budget cuts. Now, another part of this is that there isn't a companion bill in the Senate right now. It's only going to the House floor. But Governor Scott says he's seen it in the past in this kind of situation when a House floor was moved to the Senate. So it is possible. And again, that's why he's asking for people even to show up in Tallahassee on Monday to uh, go again against this bill. Again, that's Monday about 3 o'clock in Tallahassee. Live in Orange Park, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News.